time, but real briefly, uh, you may be curious as to uh, how we actually chose uh, the graphic novels that we included on the panel. Um, um, did anybody come to our panel last year? Thank you, excellent. Uh, we did present last year on adult uh, graphic novel uh, collections and uh, then returned uh, this year with the best of. Uh, we met throughout the year and um, actually uh, toward the end of uh, 2008 uh, sampled a number of uh, best of uh, lists uh, published throughout the media and, and we sampled items through our own libraries and uh, basically came up with five titles. We, you know, we each gave, I think, ten titles and chose five of them for, for each of us to, to present. Um, okay, my first uh, selection is The Sword by the Luna Brothers. Um, anyone read this? Great. This, for my money, was probably my best, uh, my favorite graphic novel reading experience uh, this year. Big fan of uh, superhero comics as well as uh, mainstream comics and um, other indie stuff as well as more unusual comics. And this kind of hit home in a number of those uh, areas. It was Masterful storytelling, excellent art. Uh, it's an ongoing comic book series. This graphic novel uh, collects the first six issues of the series, which are now kind of hard to get. Uh, the second collection, which I believe covers six, uh, seven through 12, uh, kind of just came out, and I really hope that they continue uh, to keep uh, those individuals, uh, story, uh, individual uh, section of the storyline in print. Um, the sword. This is, um, there's lots of stuff that goes on in here in terms of telling Vera's uh, story, her very unusual story of how she acquires the sword and what this means to her as well as uh, her family and, and how this whole situation actually came to be. Um, there is a, a lot of graphic violence. There is a lot of language. Uh, so I'd say it's, a, it's suitable for your adult collection. And again, a great reading experience. My second uh, selection is The Alcoholic by Jonathan Ames and Dean Ashfield. This is uh, not a difficult book to describe. Uh, it's basically one character's descent into alcoholism and uh, uh, drug addiction, um, his bottoming out, and uh, his eventual bouncing back, resurfacing, and coming to some type of self realization. Uh, takes the, this uh, graphic novel takes you straight through that process very gritty and very real. Uh, again, part of uh, your adult collection that uh, you know this graphic novel is going to be totally suitable for. I don't mean to gloss over these titles, it's just that we're running out of time. Lock and Key. Anyone read this? Excellent. Okay. Um, Again, as the blurb says, you may not realize that uh, Joe Hill is the uh, Stephen King's son, and uh, you know I, I got to hand it to him not to uh, uh, have any of that uh, be promotional uh, as far as his name as a writer. Awesome. Uh, I, I kind of remember him as the as the little kid in the Creep Show, <laughs> where, where Stephen King kind of put his son in there, um, and uh, I thought he grew up to be an awesome horror writer himself. Uh, but I like the way that he. Uh, that he loves the graphic novel, the comic book medium, and actually writes uh, specifically uh, for it. Lock and Key, as you can see from the description, is uh, very much a horror story, lots of bizarre events, lots of, again, graphic violence, so, um, again, suitable for your adult collection. All right, uh, Scott McCloud, you may you may remember Scott McCloud from his uh, textbook, quote unquote, on comics called Understanding Comics. Um, he's written a couple of other books in that um, instructional vein as far as comic book medium uh, since. Uh, but before all that, you may not know that he was very well known for Zod, which um, is actually started out in color for the first 10 issues. Those 10 issues are very hard to come by. The reprints from Kitchen Sink Press, the one reprinted graphic novel, actually terribly difficult to come by. You may not be able to add that to your library collection, but the good thing is that this collection, 87 to 91, uh, is from 11 on up to the end of the series. And those issues were originally published in black and white. 
and this takes you throughout all those issues and this greatest self-contained story can be read totally separate. Um, Zion's a very simple story, basically a story of, of Jenny and her friendship with this superhero from another world that really tells you the exact basis of the story, but it's so much more. That's the uh, that's the cover, actually, of, of the first issue of Zion, of the first color issue. I'd recommend this, uh, you know, for kind of all over um, two sections of your library, uh, YA and, uh, and adult. I think uh, both of those crowds are going to uh, enjoy it, you know, no language, uh, or, uh, you know, or anything like that to speak about all of this. Uh, but there are, you know, some mature storylines that are, that are dealt with. Last, but not least, Brian Wood and Brian Kelly's Local. <clears throat> you may remember um, these guys from DMZ, and which we actually featured last year on, the, on our panel. Uh, but this is a 12-issue uh, comic book series which takes you through the journeys of um, this character, Megan McKeegan, McKeegan. And as she, as she moves throughout the United States, what is she running from? Well, I don't even think that she knows as we're reading the entire story. Uh, but it does take her from uh, point one at the end of a relationship uh, to her final point where she finds happiness. And uh, it's, you know, if you've ever had the, uh, the the want or the need to roam or move to another place, this will this will appeal to you, but it will also appeal to you as a story of, of one young woman's journey through her life and how she eventually found herself. That's a panel from the inside. All right. Well, um, we'd like to take your questions. Yes. question is, uh, if you've taken your uh, graphic novels that were cataloged in, in another area of your library, taken them all out en masse to create a graphic novel section, what do you do with it? Do you take them up by subject, or what? it over, but we are running out of time. I'm sorry, did that help you? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are there any other yeah. questions that we have? I just happened to notice you didn't include any of the, uh, the mangas or mangas in this, how you <laughs> pronounce it. Uh, yes. So I personally read the two of them. Are there any good lists of those? Because everything I